Okay, hi Ned. This is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today we get Boozoo with Yuzu. What he said. Oh my god, you're right. It is Yuzu. Yeah. Today's beers um, are Soleil Laval, Rising Sun. Um, this is from Vagabond Breweries. I think it's Vagabond Breweries. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, Yuzu Wheat Ale. So I am really curious about this one. And it's a Japanese inspired wheat ale with yuzu and exotic citrus. Ooh, I like the exotic. Well balanced. <laughs> we shouldn't be drinking it then. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be the judge of that. Uh, you can enjoy it uh, solo or with your friends. No, it says solo or to, oh, or yes, so solo or to unwind with fabulous people. So don't drink it with jerks. Or alone, for God's sake. Yeah, well, you know. You should not to... be alone when drinking this. Oh. <laughs> and the next one is Rodenbach Classic. It's a, it even says on the bottle, refreshing Ooh. Belgian sour ale. And it is oak aged, crafted and brewed in Belgium. Wow, so it's actually Belgian. Yeah. I really like Belgian beers, to be honest. I've had uh, I've had a beer uh, that was brewed in a Belgian monastery called Meritsu, which is really, really good. So now I'm kind of excited about this. Rodenbach Classic. Yep. Uh, Look how fancy. Oh, it's got a cork. Yep. It's going to make that sound. <laughs> I hope. Uh, it says, keep it a dark and refrigerated place, you know, like myself. And fantastic with food and friends. Wow, is it good with children? <laughs> uh, nope. Oh no, nope. nope. it it, uh, it it even says right there, not good with children. Oh, it's it specifically prohibits yeah. know, serving with children. Uh, in the UK, it contains barley, and in France, it contains Blech. an orgy. What? Lorge. Oh, oh, that's probably just French for barley, isn't it? I'm guessing. Whoops. So there you go. We've got a classic and so Belgian and Japanese. Oh my god. Clash of the cultures. So, but before we get down to the beers, time for a palate cleanser. Palate cleanser time. Yep, this is one we've had before, the Patron Reposado. <laughs> I love that sound. With luck, we'll get to hear it twice. So again, we always promise to do homework. We didn't do homework on these. I can't read. <laughs> I mean, this looks fancy as all get out. It's like I feel underdressed to be drinking this this beer. Okay, let's uh, let's palate cleanse. <sighs> breathe in too hard. Oh, that's supposed to breathe. It. You're supposed to drink it. Oh, shit. I've been doing it wrong. Yep. Okay. This is Ibu 16. I don't know what that means. Brewed in the morning. I guess that makes a difference. I don't know. Yeah. Man, <laughs> we really should do our work on this stuff. But, you well, know. Well, I mean, it's brewed in the morning, which means you know that, 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 that you know, it's an early riser. It goes to bed at, a, at an appropriate time. I think it's another breakfast beer. There you go. Good with your cornflakes, kids. Okay. So I guess we'll start with the Soleil Levant of the Rising Sun. Oh, that makes sense because fruit in the morning. Exactly. Also, it's Japanese. Yeah, I mean, it all dovetails together. It's like they did it on purpose. Oops. Bit of a... Cloudy! It's it's a yeah, it's a little bit clip. I'll I'll just ignore whatever's floating in my beer. Oh no! I don't no. think it's it's a popsicle illusion. It's a what? <laughs> you know, one of those things that makes your eyes go goofy. Okay. All right. In for a dollar in for a penny. Oh wait. That. Honey, can you take in the laundry? There's a storm of ruin. It smells 
It, yeah, it, it actually, it, it smells like laundry, doesn't it? A little bit. Okay. It tastes like laundry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? First shot, I don't mind it too much. It, I mean, man, the citrus is really there. And the wheat. You can really taste the wheat. You can taste the, the, you can taste the individual components in this one. Yeah. And the, there's just... Um, oh, it's got coriander in it. Oh, oh my god, this is really fancy. This with the fancy beers, my god. I know, I feel like I need uh, 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 what are those, the, those scrunchy things. That... The time? <laughs> <laughs> yep, got it in one. <sighs> yeah, you can really taste the coriander. I'm kind of liking this one. I don't know about you. It's not bad. Yeah, it, it it definitely tastes like like you need to be drinking drinking it while wearing like an ascot. Um, Pinky's up then, I guess. Yep. I'm gonna dislocate something. Wow, that was hard to do. It t it tastes like really like almost like um when when I was a kid, I I had a glass of orange juice that I forgot I had orange juice in it. And I decided that I wanted a glass of milk. Oh, no! So I put a glass of milk in, or, or I poured the milk into my glass. Oh, my God. They never cross the streams, kids. Nothing good happens. This tastes like cross it, cross it streams. Yeah. Blah. It's... That's horrible. No, that's, that, that's not what this tastes like, I don't think. It, Although I've never had uh, milk and orange juice together. I I've never had that particular cocktail, but... That... That's a bad cocktail that just tastes like everything but the tail. But this, I don't know, I like it because... What? <laughs> I like it. I like, it. I like all the individual flavor notes in it. It reminds me of some of the beers that we... that we... I've had at... Uh, Banger Brewing in Las Vegas. Check it out if you're over there. I haven't been. I have. Okay. All right. That was a good first round, I think. Soleil Levant. Not bad. Yep. Get the thumbs up from me. Next. All right. Oh, the fancy Sunday go to meet and uh, beer. Chee chee foo foo. Oh, 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 I must take a beer. Oh, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm I'm nervous because this could either hit a light, the camera, or well, yes. aim it, aim it, aim it at the corner, or do it like, so that it can ricochet to us. I don't think so, sir. Well, then, no, you don't. No. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have a saber. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. What? No, you gotta... What, so safety last? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that made some distance. Oh, what a noise. Um, my wife gonna make sure that the dog doesn't eat it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm excited for this one now. Dinner and a show. <laughs> Oh, but first, we have to do a palate cleanse. Yes, we do. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Where's my, where's my manners? Okay. Palate cleanser time. Oh. Ooh. All right. That dances a drunken mariachi on your tongue. Ooh. All right. The Rodenbach Classic, which is... Setting itself up essentially for failure because it says refreshing on the bottle. Well, uh, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that's darker than I thought. Yeah, that doesn't look refreshing. Also doesn't look sour. But 
It actually kind of looks like it looks a lot like root beer. I, I don't know. A lot of these dark beers look like root beer. I, I think. Uh, I guess that's where root beer got its name. Also from the ginger root. Well, yeah, let's not muddy the water. So. <laughs> I guess a, a, another factor is that it's aged in oak barrels for two years. That'll do it. Yep. So I just got to look at this. Uh, this looks way too fancy for us to be drinking on a, on a Saturday afternoon. Rodenbach Classic. It's sponsored like tennis or something. It, do you smell that? Well, you know, my olfactory nerves are shot, but I smell something. Yeah, you smell something? It smells like barbecue sauce. Hold up. No. It really it smells like... It just smells like a smell. It doesn't smell like much of anything. <laughs> it smells like a smell. Yeah, like... like no, no, don't get all technical on me. You know how, how when... When uh, blind people ask you to describe a color to them, if if someone who who can't smell asks you to describe what a smell is like, you can say it smells like Rodenbach Classic because it doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like it just smells like there's something hitting your nose, and that's it. It smells like ennui. Oh, I I, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Okay. All right, Rodenbach Classic. Oh, he's keeping his head. In for a pound, in for a rotator cuff. Oh, there's that sourness. Oh, it makes every orifice pucker. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It tastes like the worst candy apple. Yeah, it tastes like somebody had like a, a bottle of cheap champagne that's gone kind of rancid, and they go, "Well, you know what? We'll just pour it in this beer. Nobody's gonna notice." They found it underneath their their couch cushion and was like, "Ah, this'll do." Fuck! What kind of lives are these people leading where they've got bottles of champagne in their couch cushions? They're Belgian. Oh yes, of course, because they live uh, the crazy life. Yeah, you know what I'd say. In Belgium, the ace is wild. Man, it's got this... <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, poor Rodenbach classic. I just want to say, I'm not a big fan of sour things to begin with. Sweet and sour are not my, my go-to uh, tastes. I'm much more of a savory man. So, like... Save for men! So, the fact that this tastes like... Like, just... Who's gonna save your chicken palaf? Save for men! I don't know. You know what You know what the problem is? The dark color is deceptive. Yeah, because... You're expecting... You're, you're expecting more of a stout kind of thing. You're expecting something a little heavier. A little darker, a little, a little more bitter. Yeah, you're, you're expecting a lot more bitterness. Instead, what you get is if a gummy worm peed on you. <sighs> is, is this what, what being fancy is like? Because cause I don't want that. Yeah. Now you're rejecting fancy? I'm I'm rejecting fancy if this is what, what fancy tastes like. I'm not even sure if you can call this a beer, to be honest. It doesn't taste like any beer. I mean, maybe we've got a limited sense of ales. It's also definitely not refreshing. It's not. Yeah, like I like I don't uh, you know I don't take a sip of this and go no I think I'll paint the house. You know. Don't don't go painting houses if you've been drinking. Because <sighs> you'll do a very sloppy job. You, you can paint your own, but but don't don't make it a habit of going to. Actually, you know what? Just, just don't go around painting people's houses because that might be a criminal offense. I'm not sure, but why take that chance? You know what they say: safety first or last. If you're popping corks. <laughs> Rotobot Classic, no. <laughs> the cork for Rotobot yeah, Classic. Yeah, this, yes. this is definitely a no. The cork though. 
The beer Cork gets on it, gets a thumbs up. Cork, yes. That's the thing. Oh, excuse me. Oof. Man. I felt that one. I know. Bruh. Man, there's a lot of gas in there. So it does have, I guess, a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of bubbly uh, action going on. I guess. Fantastic with food and friends. I I would not have as many friends as I do if, if I you introduce this to I people. Think, I think this needs to be marketed differently. You don't market it as a beer. It's some kind of uh, spirit that you can serve like in little tiny, you know, teachy foo foo glasses with friends and stuff like that where, you know... You know, you you are you know you argue about the bicycle thief or something like that. You know, it's like. You when know, was the last you, time there was a bicycle thief? I'm talking about the movie by Vittorio De Sica. Oh, okay. Look it up. Um. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you know, yeah, drink this with your pinky in the air and you argue about art. But I don't think this is like a, like you're not drinking this. At the grill, you know, cooking burgers. Just no. saying. Absolutely not. Oh my God! There's a lot of carbonation in that thing. Well, the the head. Oh my God! The, the bubblies are still going. It doesn't stop. I mean, like that Willy Wonka thing with the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel! Oompa I guess you're not supposed to chug this down. I've got the sour ale for Ooh, you. Yeah, I guess this is not a chugging, uh, a chugging ale. This is definitely a, a dainty sipping ale, <laughs> which is the wrong Oompa, ale for us. Oompa, dee, dee. This classic ale tastes just like pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> poor Rodenbach. I'm sorry, Rodenbach Classic, if you're watching this. Oh, Rodenbach, he's turning over in his grave. Presuming he's, he's a real guy and he's still, he's dead. Yeah, you know, old Jordan Rodenbach. Oh, yes. Yeah, found in 1821. Oh, yeah. Come on, make up more stuff. Uh, and he was a, he was a big proponent in uh, 1066, the Battle of Hastings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then that was a big fight over pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, 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 and that's how, how uh, the world got divided into jello pudding and black pudding. You heard it here first, kids. Now you don't have to go to your history lesson. No, oh, don't go to school. Watch us. <laughs> we'll give you the hands up on everything. Okay, so... <laughs> this is a master class now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that last... Oh, that last sip is pretty sour. What a sour note to end the video on. <laughs> oh! Anyway... All right, so, so uh, what's it called? So, so Le Levant. Uh, yeah, Rising Sun. For those of you who speak the Hing Rich. Yep, Rising Sun. I liked it. He thought it was okay. It's okay. This Ron Bob Classic. He does not like it. No, nope. I think it should not be classified. It shouldn't be considered a beer. It's something else altogether. And if you approach it as such and drink it in something that's a bit smaller than a mug, you might enjoy it. And you certainly shouldn't chug it, I'll tell you that. Chugging this is going to make you feel like what it would be like to be lactose intolerant, I feel like. Mm, I don't know about that. You will shit yourself. No, you won't shit yourself. Not if you drink this. Although... I don't know. Give me a half hour. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there you go. Those are our two beers for the week. And uh, I guess that's it for today. That's uh, two Canadian guys drinking beers. There you go.